Hey guys and welcome to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be watching uh, Pokemon Presents. Hopefully we get something interesting like Sinnoh Remakes or Let's Go Johto. Been a lot of rumours um, so the direct starts in a couple of minutes. We're live on Twitch just now. Um, just watching the direct together I guess. Um, I'm really praying for some Sinnoh Remakes. Uh, Let's Go Johto is a rumour. I don't mind Let's Go games. I just really want a new Pokemon game you know or a remake nothing about pokemon unite so i don't know what we're gonna get yeah like revy said in the chat there hopefully not uh let's go johto <laughs> um hopefully not i just really want Sinnoh. um as i was explaining to my chat there on twitch i'll just go over the story again the Sinnoh remakes like have a really special place in my heart because when i was younger i remember pokemon diamond coming like Diamond Apparel coming out in the UK and in game and we went to one in Scotland like obviously because that's where I'm from duh but um we went to the one in Cumbernauld and there was a game I remember my dad taking me and my sister and we were quite young and Diamond Apparel came out and basically went into the shop I got my copy of Diamond I was set on Dialga because he looked so cool like I was so happy with Dialga um, and I'd been following all the leaks on like Pokemon World magazine she used to get um so <clears throat> went in we got like diamonds got handed to me i was a happy little kid like the games would have been so cheap then as well compared to now like i don't think it would have been like 40 pound for a game but i can't remember because you know bank of dad at that point i was only like nine i guess when pokemon diamond pedal came out um i remember the guy handing me over the copy of diamond and then saying to my dad like do you want this game case with it um and i'll show you really quickly what it was it was like a pokemon diamond case um with a stylus with the alga on it that's in there so he handed us these and I, I i don't have them anymore unfortunately um but he handed us these along with the the actual the games and it just holds such a special place in my heart because like i said to everyone there there's the stylus um april 22nd is when it came out so i remember going into like my dad driving to Tesco after like getting his game and just opening up my little pink DS light and having like opening it up and just seeing Professor Brown's face and that's it started up. My dad wanted me to go to Tesco. I was like, hell no, I've got Pokemon. I'm gonna sit here and play this. I've been buzzing. Sister did not touch the game. She she remembers Pokemon Pedal, but not as well as like I do. And that that just that just holds a really special place in my heart. So it does mean a lot for Sinnoh, that is why it's my favourite game because every other time we have a release date, like I, I don't remember like what I'd done right at that point when Pokemon came out, like Diamond the Pedal being nine years old and remembering everything that day, it's just, it's just a weird one but I think that's why I love Sinnoh and that's why I'm kind of praying for it. Um, but yeah, Pokemon, I think it's just because of the 25th anniversary, it's just nostalgic and Pokemon does mean a lot to me because it's one of the things like I bonded the most over with people. Um, so I kind of hope they have like a whole big celebration about it being like 25 years old. Because um, I'm the same age as Pokemon. Like I've been about since Pokemon had been a thing, you know. I mean Pokemon are the same age. Um, so yeah, hopefully we get something good. It's going to start soon. I'm just hovering over like a little bit to make it all full screen. So hopefully we get something good. You're saying Pokemon Tactical Nuke. <laughs> Pokemon Spear. That's interesting. Um, yeah, let, let's just... Oh god, Premier's going to begin shortly, guys. Here we go. <gasps> so excited. I hope it's something. Even if it's not Sinnoh, I don't care. We get a Pokemon game, we enjoy it. As long as it's not Pokemon Unite, because I do not want to see any more. I'd love to see Pokemon Snap. Any Pokemon Snap gameplay. <gasps> here we go. Oh, guys. Oh, here we go. Oh... But yeah, that's that's pretty much what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping for Pokemon Sinnoh remakes, anything. Because uh, Sinnoh is just, hands down, one of the best generations I ever played as a kid. Oh, I'm so nervous, chat. I'm actually so nervous. I've got that kind of like goosebumpy cold feeling. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys love... Um, if you guys love Pokemon as well, I want to know down below in the comments like your best memory served with Pokemon. For me, as much as Diamond and Peril has came out and or well, Diamond and Peril came out and you know, me being a fanatic little kid loving Gen 4, 
and Gen 4 having a special place in my heart, I want to know like what makes Pokemon special for you in these 25 years because for me it has been my community and everyone I have met. How much Pokemon has actually, I, like how I've met people for Pokemon is what's been special for me. Um, and the community that I've built over the last two years of Pokemon as well and I've met so many friends. I met my boyfriend through Pokemon as well, you know, so um, yeah, it's just, I just want to know like what makes Pokemon so special in your heart guys because I'll, I'll generally carry Pokemon to the grave if it's me. I'll be playing Pokemon until I'm an old woman in a tire run home and forgetting what Pikachu looks like and being like, oh that's a new Pokemon, you know, so. I just, I just I'd, I'd love to know guys out of curiosity chat that goes for you too I want to know what makes Pokemon so special for you as well in the chat below on Twitch so right oh here we go guys <sighs> deep breath 10 seconds guys 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 let's go Oh, that nostalgic music. <laughs> Pokemon. Red, green. Cable. Trade. Trading card. Anime. Movie. Blue, yellow. N64 transfer pack. 3D battle. Light. Top. Oh, that Pikachu figure, I had that, the big, big one. I still have that game. Never played that one. Pokemon Dash, I had that. That was the first game to come out. I wanted one of them. There we go. Oh wait, hang on. If that was 20 years ago, I'd have been six when Pokemon died in the pedal came out, actually. No, I couldn't. Could I have been? It's been a bit. I'd have been about seven, actually, not nine. I remember going into the game and doing the trial for that one. They had like the, the tutorial or the little um, thing you could try in game. Hey Squirtle! I had that game and I sucked at it. I played that game. I enjoyed that game. <laughs> Pokemon Go. 
And that is how I make Crest with her Pokemon Go. You wouldn't think that was almost two years ago. Come on, my heart is going through my chest here. I had the opportunity to go to a Pokemon store once. みなさんこんばんは。株式会社ポケモンの石原です。本日2月22日はポケットモンスターシリーズの現店でもあるポケットモンスター赤緑が日本で発売された日です。ポケモンの誕生からなんと25年が経ちました。世界中のトレーナー
You'll oh wow, you can actually change it. That would be good for Instagram. Not bad that my mind went there. Use features like stickers and frames to make your favorite photos even more special. This game's gonna be so cute. And I'm sure you'll want to show off your best photos, right? We know that feeling well. When you want to do that, it's time to go online. You can oh, share your favorite that's photos so cool. and check out photos from around the world. And if your photo becomes popular, it might even be featured and get more attention. Seeing something like that may inspire you to go back and I'm excited as well, John. more photos. We're getting closer to the start of your adventure. Unexplored islands and plenty of Pokemon await in the Lentil region. So make wow. sure you're prepared. Look at the shinies. Whoa! Is that Celebi. a mythical Pokemon Celebi? Get ready. The Lentil region is So the first one focused on you. I wonder if this one focuses on Celebi. I've got my pre-order ready. I've told Chris when he gets paid, he orders it for me and then that's it. What did you think? I hope you're looking forward to the game's release on April 30th. Next, I'd like to tell you about several events we're holding to celebrate Pokemon Day. In the Pokemon yeah, I know that one. and Pokemon Shield games, special Max Raid battles featuring Gigantamax Pikachu are underway. And in Pokemon Cafe Mix, we're holding a promotion in which you can receive 2,500 golden acorns for logging in. In Pokemon Go, Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, and even Mewtwo are appearing in legendary raid battles as part of a Kanto-themed celebration event. Yeah, but it's been that way since Go Fest, so that's... Pokemon Masters EX, Galar hey. Region Champion Leon, yeah. and his partner Pokemon Charizard will arrive at last. And they have a 2%... a 2%... no, a 1% chance to pull them. Next, I'd like to present the latest news about the Pokemon video game series. Have a look at this video. Oh, it's Diamond Petal, isn't it? I'm gonna cry. Oh my god, I'm gonna burst out crying. Oh my god. I'm actually teething up, guys. I don't know if you can see. Oh my god, I'm tearing up. Brilliant diamond! And shiny pearl! Oh, wait, when? Oh my god! I'm crying. <laughs> oh my god. That means so much to me. Thank you, Pokemon. Oh? This is a tale from a long, long time ago, when the Sinnoh region was still only a vast wilderness. A certain village bustled with the coming. Is this a story about people. Arceus? This was another rumor. It just says, um, late 2021. Sorry, I forgot my camera was covering it. Oh my god. So it's like Breath of Wild, but Pokemon?
This looks so cool. So this is like a pokey like MMO. I'm still crying by the way. This is what I've seen on Twitter. That looks so good. So there your starter Pokemon. I'll be choosing Cyndaquil. My boy. It's like Breath of Wild but Pokemon. That's pretty cool. Pokemon Legends Arceus. Early 2022. That looks cool, guys. I'll play that. I'm pleased to announce two new additions to the Pokemon video game series, both taking place in the Sinnoh region. First, I'd like to present the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl games. These are faithful remakes of the Pokemon Diamond version and Pokemon Pearl version games which were released for the Nintendo DS system in Japan 15 years ago. You actually listened, Pokemon. Thank you so much! The Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl games. Mm. Remakes of the Pokemon Diamond I don't care that it looks Pokemon chibi, Pearl it looks so games, cute. Which released for the Nintendo DS system are coming to Nintendo Switch. These games will be developed nah, by Ilkay, I like it. who also worked on Pokemon Home. The project is okay. being directed by Yuichi Ueda of Ilka, as well as Game Freak's Junichi Masuda, who was the director for the original Pokemon Diamond version and Pokemon Pro version games. Your adventure will take place in the Sinnoh region, rich in nature and with towering Mount Coronet at its heart. It is a it basically is basically like the how they remade the Zelda the game of scale of the with the chibis towns and roots has been carefully preserved. And you'll be able to travel through familiar locations once again. I like it. Out on your journey after choosing either Turtwig, Piplup, or Piplup as your first partner Pokemon. In these games, you can enjoy a grand adventure together with all the Pokemon from Pokemon Diamond version. At least the battle Pokemon system wasn't Chibi. Newcomers and previous visitors to the Sinnoh region alike can look forward to experiencing the original Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl stories. Freshly recreated for Nintendo Switch. I will play the shit out of that, by the way. What did you think? Pokemon <laughs> I, I, I thought amazing, I cried! Oh, Pokemon, thank you so like much. We hope you're all excited for a nostalgic yet fresh... Releasing worldwide in late 2021, is what it says, guys. I don't know. Next, allow me to introduce you to the Pokemon Legends Arceus game. That looks Pokemon amazing. Legends that looks like Arcus Breath of the Wild, like a Pokemon. For the Pokemon video game series. I can't believe I cried. Development Jesus. is in full swing at Game Freak with the aim to deliver a gaming experience that breaks new ground for the Pokemon series. Please have a look at this video. It's got like a Breath of Wild kind of like music and stuff. Like a, a theme. I like it. The events of this game unfold in the Sinnoh of old. In this time, too, Mount Coronet towers over the center of the region. Pokemon live freely in the wild here, mm. but the harsh environments may be different from the Sinnoh region you remember. In this era, people have journeyed to Sinnoh from all over and found it a prosperous village in the hope of learning more about this land. It's about time we got a Sinnoh backstory, Pokemon, though. Rowlet, Cyndaquil, and Oshawott it seems they were brought to Sinnoh by a certain professor who encountered them while traveling around various regions. You'll set off on your adventure after receiving a first partner Pokemon of your own from this it's professor. the fact that your sprites look like you do in Diamond and Pearl. Like, that is amazing. With the village as your base, you'll venture out to the different corners of the region on your quest to create Sinnoh's very first Pokedex. Even in this era, Wild Pokemon can be caught with Pokeballs. 
That lag, did anyone see that lag you on the chimp chart? You engage in Pokemon battles alongside your Pokemon allies. Yeah. Sharpen I'll be going for Cyndaquil, though. Sharpen your both catching and battling Pokemon, and strive to complete your Pokedex. This is what Pokemon should have looked like, though. <laughs> now for the mythical Pokemon that graces the game's title and story, Arceus. According to legend, Arceus shaped all there is in this world. But how yeah. is this Pokemon connected to your journey? The answer to this question and more awaits you in this exciting new action RPG adventure for the Nintendo Switch system. That looks so good. Pokemon Legends Arceus will launch simultaneously around the world early next year. We hope you're all excited to set out on these adventures across the Sinnoh region, each one distinctly different from the other, with the wonderfully nostalgic Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl, yes. as well as the Pokemon video game series New Journey, Pokemon Legends Arceus. They're giving so much love as Pokemon celebrates to Gen 24 right now. Years, we will continue to challenge ourselves and deliver new ways for everyone to enjoy Pokemon even more. Thank you very much for watching. Oh my god, guys. I don't know about you, but holy shit. Let's go to Twitter and see what everyone else says. Let's check Twitter. Let's see. Um, Pokemon Presents. Like, let's have a look. Yeah. That looks amazing. Millennials who haven't played Pokemon game in 15 years and finally announced Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, that was me. Actual mood. Oh. This looks amazing. The Pokemon, the Arceus story looks good, but I'm so, look at the, oh. Look, oh, I don't even care. And the switch as well. Let's see what Cerebi's put up then. He's he's bound to put up screenshots. Oh no, not yet. Okay. Oh, I suppose we better give Joe some time. But guys, holy, like, holy crap! Diamond and Pearl, we finally got it. And I am so happy, guys. I am so excited. I'm so happy. I'm on the wrong Twitter account. Yes, I am. Um. Oh my god. Guys, if you enjoyed the Pokemon Direct, please like a like, a comment, subscribe, anything. Tell me down below. This means so much to me and that is why I cried, guys. I'm so sorry that I did cry, but Pokemon Diamond Apparel means so much to me. Um, and I, I honestly don't care what people have got to say on Twitter or anything because I'm, I'm hyped. I'm so hyped, guys. Anyway, I'm going to stop the YouTube video there. Please like, comment and subscribe and I will continue the Twitch stream for a couple more minutes. I love you all guys. Thank you for your time. Bye.